This is also a good question. What do I do or say when, when my kid wants to quit Cornerstone? Um, so the first thing is remove Cornerstone from it. Most of your kids, like myself, had a tremendously long history of quitting everything we ever started. All right? Like almost all the kids where it's like they love to start things. And as soon as it gets uncomfortable or hard, they love to quit. And so when I was like 15, 16, 17, and I was living at home and I was like just getting sober, I was like, I was like, dad, I'm quitting high school. This is BS. I'm just going to get my GED. And my dad looked at me and said, yeah, it's cool. And you're moving out. All right. It's very important to understand where that that quitting is part of it right like there's there's one of my jobs is if i'm doing it well is i'm going to help people learn how to be successful to work on things to learn how to finish things most of these guys are not very good at finishing what they start this process of getting into recovery is uncomfortable it's hard like changing your peer group getting honest building your self-esteem um giving up for the kids giving up control of running the family because most of them have been running the family forever um it's hard to do and so if you don't get a question if you don't get pushed on that sometimes you probably don't got shots and so if you don't respond to it with like i said without understanding what the question is. And um, that's like where you want to be calm and tough. Tammy? Well, you my, dealt with quitting a lot. Yes, I've been quit all the time. <laughs> but um, at one point, and I'm not sure this was the right thing to do, but at one point we said, okay, we'll, we'll go to one other place and check it out because he tried to make it seem like it was cornerstone that he didn't want to do. But he, what he really didn't want to do was recovery. And he didn't think he had a problem, but everything showed that he had a serious problem. Well, so we said, okay, we'll go to one place and only one place to check it out and see if you'll uh, feel better about it. We went to it, he immediately said, no, I don't want to do that program either. I said, well, guess what? And Mike and I, I was very fortunate that my husband and I were supported each other we were united the whole time and so um we said no uh okay we're not going to that place you're going to cornerstone or you're, you're moving out you're moving out and so he reluctantly did um you know go to cornerstone and in the end that was the perfect thing that he needed because there's other programs but this one is the one that he needed and that we needed because it was strong and we knew that the leaders were strong and had seen just about everything. So um, I don't know. I don't know that that was a good idea for us to even look at another place. Because in my heart, I knew this was the right place, but we felt like we had to sometime somehow look like we were working with them. Guess what? You don't have to look like that. <laughs> you don't now. Talking about it now, you don't ever have to do it. You're in charge. And so pretty much after that, that's the way we handled things. 